I had to go to Bozeman today, so I'm getting a real late start on this clay, but I'm feeling the best I've felt in about two months. So I'll work as long as I can, but it won't be very long because uh, I'm doing something tonight. And I just wanted to get maybe an hour, maybe two hours into this guy first. But uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, make a uh, wrap on this uh, head. It's a little secret that uh, one artist, Dennis Harrington, passed on to me and he got pissed off because I passed on his secret to everybody else. And I said, well, when you got a good secret, spread it around. Boy, the wind is just a-blowing out there. Well, I'm going to put the straight edge. I'll now put that strip up and over the head of the war, war head, or the war club, and uh, do it twice. What I'm trying to do is make it look like uh, he's put leather straps a rawhide straps to uh, tighten the warhead on the uh, war club. There we go. Now, one more strap. I'll do that a little bit more. It, it makes it look like it's been wrapped and uh, that's the uh, effect I'm trying to get. I'm not making a fun, uh, really uh, elaborate war club. If I'm going to have a war club, I don't want it pretty. I want it functional. I want it to take down the enemy. And so, I would think that it would be just a little less... Now, decorated. Now that those of you who have followed me for a while know that I paint objects that are made of wax to make them look like clay. And the way I did that, as you know, is I took a sample of clay to the uh, paint shop or the hardware store, got myself a can of paint made up to be the same color as the clay so that when I mount it on the uh, clay and I photograph it, people aren't asking what is the dark stuff? Well, I paint it to make it look, make it look like clay for the reason of keeping it less confusing. All right. Now, I'm going to cut off this arm so I can work on this hand. I'm just heating up the blade so that it'll cut without much resistance through the uh, clay. Because I want to be able to put the arm back on when I'm done. Now, this is a true form armature, as you probably know, if you watched this from the beginning. And you can take the arms off. There's the uh, bone, or the armature, right there. It's uh, the foam part of the uh, bone. Bone. There's the wire 
that goes into that arm and so I can take that off and then I can work on the hand separate. I'll try to keep the uh, hand in the camera's view. I know none of this makes sense right here but that's uh, the part that won't be seen. It's on the inside and right up against the body. That's one of the beauties of uh, true, I mean the uh, true form armatures is you can take them apart. What I'll do is I'll make the fingers and thumb and then I'll wrap the fingers and the thumb around the, the war club after it's attached. is to get the hand to stay in place. Now I'm not putting wires in the fingers. Um, I could go to that trouble but I don't think I need to. Right, I'm just going to size the uh, index finger. That's good right there. And uh, get that on there. What I'm doing is working out the fingers. Now, the distance between the knuckle and the first joint is half, or, or uh, is equal to the length to the end of the finger, and then halfway between there is uh, another joint. So that's how you work that out. I cut that joint just a little too high and low. I mean, you don't want to have one finger too thick, another finger too thin. And see, when I turn this hand around, I'll work on the uh, the knuckles and stuff like that. All right, let's put this back on and see what it looks like. The war club is dried completely. And now, let's take the hand, arm I mean, and slip it back on the armature. There we go. I think what I'll do is pull it away, put the uh, war club in his hand, Uh, wrap the fingers around it. Can't figure out I'm going to do this. The best thing to do is to key is not to give up. The key is to stick with it until you work it out. And I may not be able to, but at least I tried. Get that rag out of the way. 
I'm going to change that out just a little bit. The only camera was off. I don't know how much you missed. What I did was I thickened up the forearm and uh, because it had to match the size of the hand and it was just a little too thin for that. Didn't worry about the muscles, just the shape uh, because it's all going to be under shirt, uh, shirt anyway. And uh, I've got the, uh, the uh, weapon anchored so it's not going to go anywhere and uh, just shake the leg around it but I think it looks pretty good it uh, shows a weapon in his hand and uh, I just got to work on his hand to make it look more like a hand <laughs> 